Midtown Rising site. Oh, okay. I would like to recognize our city council president, Loretta Scott, and all the other elected officials that are present here today. City council members Adam McFadden, and I believe Mike Patterson is supposed to be here, and council member Elaine Spa, they may walk up. Um, Senator Joe Robach, school board president Van White, and I would especially like to recognize the Langston family, Ms. Gloria Langston, and Andre Langston, and Marietta Avery. Debbie D.K. Ed's family that's here today. Before I begin my remarks, I would like to invite Council President Scott to come up to the podium and say a few words, and she'll be followed by Senator Joe Robach and then School Board President Van White. Oh, come on. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so in the interest of full disclosure, what I'm going to tell you is I have written remarks. But these are the wrong ones. <laughs> but that's all right. It's all right because I knew Mr. Langston. I am so thrilled to be here to bestow this honor upon one of the most stellar businessmen in our community who com co contributed to this community over 40 years DKX has been in business. They've never forgotten that they are a community railroad. You know what? My tongue is tied. They are a community radio station. That value has been sustained all of this time due to Andrew Langston. He showed us that we could do some things in our community we didn't know we could do, like have our own radio station. So the impact of this naming is so extreme that I'm almost at a loss for words, but I can tell you that I am thrilled to be a part of this where we bestow an honor on someone who is a legend in our time. So when our kids and our grandkids look at street names, we can say, oh yeah, we know him. We knew him. We know what he did. And we know what WDKX continues to do along with the Langston family. Mrs. Langston, she is just gloriously gorgeous. I told her, she said, you talking to me? <laughs> So again, I am thrilled to be here and I can hardly wait to unveil this street name. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am very briefly delighted and honored to be here and I uh, want to thank the mayor and everyone that made this excellent choice. Uh, I would just say very briefly, Mr. Langston certainly to me was two things primarily. One, he was the definition of determination. Uh, no matter what the odds were, he was going to open up this radio station. And things were different then. People didn't want to give him a loan or let him borrow money. Now, pretty good business guy. I'll let you decide why they didn't want to do that. But no matter what the obstacle was, he never let anything stand in his way. He stayed the course and he got it done. Number two, when you talk about the legacy today and what lives on, when you hear that tagline, WDKX, staying connected to the community, that was the vision of Andrew Langston. Um, he wanted the people's radio station, and he was going to do it at any cost, and he did it. And clearly, Mrs. Langston, Andre, Andrea, Wendy, you've all continued that right across the board. So he was a, a great role model for everyone in this community, for love of community, and as an entrepreneur and a human being, not taking no for answer, no matter what the hurdle was. And that's something we should celebrate and have the street name for. On a lighter note, I will say this, as much as I admired him, I remember in my first meeting with Mr. Langston, I'm not exactly sure what year it was, but I was running Ralph Quattrochalki's campaign and had to go in to the office to talk to Mr. Langston in his three-piece suit. And I can only tell you this, besides being a good businessman, he scared the hell out of me. Um, he told me what I had to do with no terms and why it was the right thing to do. But his word was his bond and people like that should be celebrated and looked up to here in Rochester. And that will happen with the naming of this street. Another good way to depict people who made an impact and a difference in Rochester. So, great choice. Thank you. Uh, congratulations and God bless to the whole Langston family. A um, couple things. Uh, I want to thank the mayor and the Langston family. 
not only for the naming of the street, but giving so much. You know, many of us in public service know what it's like to give of our time. It takes away from our families. Uh, and we really should, uh, when you get next to Ms. Langson, you get next to Andre, Wendy, give them a hug or at least say thank you because these are sacrifices that are made and they take away from our, their, the family. So let's give them another round of applause. Just at a personal level, the sacrifices that they have made to this community. And it's not just the time, it's the money, it's the commitment. So that's the first thing I want to say. And, and to Mayor Warren, what a brilliant selection this was. Um, to pick a street. Now, you know, you all are familiar with like Martin Luther King Drive throughout this country. Sometimes it's in the worst neighborhoods in the world. But but to the mayor's credit, to Loretta Scott's credit, and Councilman McFadden and all our come we picked a street. You picked a street that is in the heart of the rising of this community. Let's give them a round of applause. You got buildings coming up over here and buildings coming up over there, and you got a street that's two-way, right in the heart of the development of this city. Sorry. To, so to the city we say. Thank you. To the Langstons, we say thank you. God bless. At first, I wasn't sure I was going to say anything, but I didn't think my buddy Andre would let me get away without saying something. And so what DKX has meant to this community and to me is really a platform for our interests, for things that impact our community. When we think about the media and how they cover things, when we think about what's being used as a, uh, a way to communicate with, with people, WDKX has been consistent in broadcasting things that impact members of our community. Things that would go unreported. Things that people talked about in their homes or in their churches, but might not have gotten the coverage on TV or other radio stations. So to have a street that would honor uh, Mr. Langston is really providing a platform for this community to understand how important he was to us. So that's all I want to say. Thank you. Thank you to all our colleagues. There's one more recognition in order before we unveil the new street sign. Back in March, we solicited suggestions from the public to name this street in the open space to our right. I would like to recognize Mr. Kenneth Preston for submitting the name Andrew Langston Way as part of that process. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This is the site of one of the first indoor malls in America, Midtown Plaza. Rochester was a pioneer in the area of mall development, just as Andrew Langston was, whose legacy we are honoring today. He was a pioneer in the radio world. As part of Midtown's rebirth, we have a new street grid right here in the heart of downtown Rochester, which gives us an opportunity to remember Mr. Langston in a very special way by naming the street in his honor. Mr. Langston was a true champion for Rochester. When WDKX first went on air in 1974, it was one of the first black-owned radio stations in the state. At the time, WDKX provided a source of black-owned businesses, a source for black-owned businesses to advertise that hadn't existed here before. Mr. Langston sadly died in 2010, but today we are here to ensure that his legacy remains in our community forever. The Langston family's contribution to the Rochester community are immense, and WDKX continues on as a strong today as it ever was. WDKX is so much more than a radio station. It is a voice for the people, a cultural treasure, a community connector. This is the true legacy of Mr. Andrew Langston, and who better to carry on that legacy than his wife, Ms. Gloria Langston, and his son, Andre Marcel. So at this time, I would like to ask Ms. Langston to come to the podium and say a few words. I'll be very brief. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's dream was to create a radio station that would benefit the community. 
a place where people could get information and share information and have a voice. Receiving this honor from the city of Rochester shows that his dream came true and is appreciated. On behalf of the entire Langston family, we are forever grateful and will continue to be that voice for the Rochester community. Thank you. Well, since uh, I very rarely introduced as Andre Marcel, I can let it all be known now. Um, I'm really Andre Langston. Uh, for years, people never knew that that was the same person. And I'd like to thank all my friends and family for coming out here today, because when we say part of your family, I see our family here. I mean, Marietta's a sister. Um, Michelle, I mean, people here, Paul Noons is a brother that, from another mother's, they would say. He was our attorney from day one. Um, Cheryl McKeever joined our family just a few years ago. And over 40 years ago, my father had a dream to build a radio station to service the Rochester community. But not only being the voice of the black community, but being a voice of the entire community as we needed. Joe Wilson, founder of the Xerox Corporation, he was an associate of my dad and agreed that the station was what Rochester needed for the black community and offered the Xerox Tower to house the antenna. And it's right behind Midtown right now, as long as the station was on the air. So if you ever go by and you see a three-bay antenna up there, that's DKX. Mr. Wilson believed in his dream. Now today the street has been named for Andrew Langston, Andrew Langston Way, and I am so tickled about that I'm excited <laughs> because it's a long time coming. And it's in the shadow of the antenna of the Tower of Xerox. I would be remiss if not to mention and thank the late Larry Glazier, another visionary that the antenna is still standing. With Larry Glazier's support and understanding of the importance of that tower and antenna, thus allowing it to stay where it's been for the last 40 years. Buckingham Properties reinvesting in Rochester is proof that Rochester will work together and to ensure businesses to have an opportunity to succeed. Mr. Glazier, well, he liked to be called Larry, for those of you who know him, and used to get on me all the time. So Larry, thank you for reinvesting in my father's dream. I wish my father, Mr. Wilson, and Larry were here to witness this. I believe they're looking down on this day with pride and probably sharing the ideas about their next endeavors, because boy, did they like to cut deals. <laughs> I would like to thank the city of Rochester, Mayor Warren, and the entire community for this unbelievable honor. I would also like to thank City Council President Loretta Scott for all of her support for the years, and of course, my friend Adam McFadden, Van White, Joe Robach, they're all family. I would also like to thank our advertisers and listeners, for without you, there would be no us. 1039 WDKX. We're one of the few remaining locally owned radio stations left in New York State. We are the only black owned radio station left Woo! in New York State. This is a day we will cherish and forever drive or walk down the street and have a smile on our face. Thank you for making the legacy of Andrew A. Langston continue as the dreams of my father become the passion and journey of the son. Thanks for coming out today. This is a truly a special day and we want to thank you all for coming. So without further ado, it's time to unveil Mr. Langston's street sign and then the Langston family will take the first ceremonial ride down Andrew Langston Way. Before we unveil the
See, that shows you he's here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.